<laughs> so we're at the Chefs for Farmers event at the Highland Park Cafeteria in Casa Linda. And sommelier for the evening is Dylan Proctor, who has assembled an amazing selection of wines. Thank there's, you. there's probably over 12 wines here for people to choose from. And I've, I've been trying them and they're all good. The uh, interesting thing in particular is that he's got four that come from Texas. And I thought, Dylan, maybe you could tell us about these four wines, where they come from and how they're made. I've got four incredible wines, two different wineries. All great friends, Dr. Stan and Lisa Dukeman, and of course Dan Gatlin from the Inwood Estates. First off, the Dukeman wines. We've got a pure Texas Vermentino. Yes, Texas Vermentino. The Vermentino is, abs is actually an Italian grape variety. That is incredible. Great acidity, tropical fruit. Also a little bit of citric fruit, also like lemon, lime, apricot. Great acidity, as I said. And the beauty about this, this is 100% Texas born and bred. Next, next, we've got single vineyard from uh, Dr. VJ Reddy's vineyards, single vineyard Montepulciano. Now, the beauty about both of these wines, of course, being Italian grape varieties in, in, in our wonderful climate in Texas, it gives you the great essence of what you would expect Vermentino to taste like from Italy. This gives you the essence of what Montepulciano is supposed to taste like from Italy also. But of course, they are Texas. They're Texan wines. With the Montepulciano, you've got great bright fruit, bean cherry, a little bit of lavender, a little bit of violet. You've got some raspberry also, and it just follows through with an incredibly long and sexy finish. Now, moving on to the uh, to, to the Inwood Estates winery, good friend of mine, Dan Gatlin, also. Now, this guy's a pioneer. He's been growing tex growing grapes in Texas for a very, very long time, and his winery actually just got up and going in the Dallas area in the Design District in uh, 2005, 2006. He's been making wine, like I said, for a long time. He's got the Cornelius. Now, once again, if you've noticed, we've got... Vermentino, Montepulciano, and now Tempranillo. This Cornelius Tempranillo is 100% and uh, again, Texas born and bred. This really, really tastes, tastes like an incredible Rioja. Next to that, we've got the Magellan, 2008 vintage of the Magellan. Oh, is that 2006? That's 2006 vintage of Magellan, pardon me. Now, the Magellan is a blend, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, a little bit of Merlot. It's just an incredible Bordeaux style blend that he grows on the, in, in West Texas. It's absolutely incredible as well. So it's a, it's a great lineup, absolutely great lineup. 